Hello everyone, Nico and me here, and today I'm going to talk about a topic that I think is going to be strongly argued by you guys by the end of this video, and I want you to just stay tuned and continue to watch throughout, because I think I could persuade you in a way. So, this video, I'm going to be talking about the Wii U, and how I think it's actually one of uh, Nintendo's best systems, if not the best system. So, I hope you don't mind, but... I'm going to be eating a cookie in the middle of this video. Um, if you have a cookie in your household, maybe uh, an Oreo in the cabinet, pull it out. Let's eat cookies together while um, I make this video. That got everywhere. Okay, got my milk ready too. Here's the cookie if you're wondering. Um, don't know what the white stuff is on it. I think it's uh, like sugar. Um, I'm allergic to nuts, so if it's a nut, well, I might die in the middle of this video, so I guess that'll be entertaining for you to watch. So anyways, the Wii U. Now, you're probably already disliking this video because I even mentioned the fact that it could be uh, Nintendo's best system yet. Now, this is incredibly rude. I apologize. I hate when people talk while they eat. But this cookie's so dang good. So anyways, I think the Wii U, I'm going to just call it the best, which I don't know if it's necessarily the best, but I'm just going to call it the best for the purpose of this video. Um, it's definitely, I think, one of the top three Nintendo home consoles. I'm not going to talk about the handheld because I think they inherently have a disadvantage because they are handhelds, not really, I guess you could say, real consoles because when I think consoles I think home consoles playing with a controller at home not on the go on the DS and stuff so um I'm just gonna be talking about home consoles in general now um let's talk about them we have the NES the Super NES the GameCube the N64 the Wii and the Wii U now I think the main rival to the Wii U is the N64 I think the Wii U Besides the gamepad, I think it's actually, besides the N64, the game, um, the system that's most focused on the games itself. The Wii focused way too much on, on the motion controls. The GameCube is just kind of weird in general, in my opinion. And it's just kind of hard to judge games like the NES and the Super NES to now because the graphics... Literally, it's like comparing um, whole grain goldfish to normal goldfish. It's just not the same deal, okay? So, um, I just think that's... I already feel the dislikes coming. But I just feel like the Wii U is the most game-focused Nintendo system since the N64. Because, look at all the games. Now, this is assuming we are getting Zelda U, which I don't see why not. Because they've announced many times it's coming for the Wii U. They've announced it in the last Nintendo Direct. I'm expecting an E3 announcement for the new Zelda Wii U game. Now, expecting that the new Zelda Wii U game is coming to the uh, Wii U, I think we essentially got every game we would ever ask for for the Wii U besides Metroid and Animal Crossing Wii U, which we essentially got in the form of a Wii U festival. And um, New Leaf was such a fantastic Animal Crossing game that um, the Wii U version wasn't even that of a big of a necessity, in my opinion. Um, because that was just so huge, especially in Japan. Now, let's take a look at the games we got in the Wii U. We got Splatoon, Mario Maker, uh, Mario 3D World, um, HD remakes of like five Zelda games. We have Hyrule Warriors, Star Fox Zero, um, Bayonetta 2. We have, um, oh dang, this is gonna look good. Uh, we have Mario Kart 8. We have all the Amiibo, which was a huge thing for a while. Um, we have... Xenoblade Chronicles X. We have Super Smash Bros. 
we have basically any game you'd really ever want in your life. Um, besides GTA 5, which if the Wii U got GTA 5, I think you basically cover like most of the games you'd ever really want. Um, if you're talking in a general public sense, I guess if they got um, Black Ops 3 and Battlefront and Fallout 4, if they got those three games and GTA 5, um, essentially the Wii U would have been everything and more games wise. Now, um, all those games, I could say by far, I've played those games at least 20 times more than I've played games on my PS4. Now, I am a huge Nintendo fan. I am a P uh, Sony fan and a PlayStation fan. I am a bit biased because I am more of a Nintendo fan. But, I can honestly say, I enjoyed my experience playing games on my, on my Wii U than I have any other system. And that's not a lie. Um, the amount of time I played Splatoon, Smash Bros, Mario Maker, I'm currently playing um, um, Zelda um, Twilight Princess HD. The amount of fun I'm going to have playing Star Fox Zero, the amount of fun I had Bana 2 and Mario Kart 8. It's just a fun system. I don't think you can find a more fun experience than you can on the Wii U. And I think that's the number one thing the Wii U has going for it. Um, besides um, the N64, which I included, I don't think there's a better catalog for games than for the Wii U in terms of Nintendo systems. Uh, I just can't think of one. Because a lot of the Wii games, they were fun and all, but a lot of them were ruined because of motion controls. Now, I'm not a good, I'm not a big fan of motion controls at all. And as you can see, they're kind of boycotting and moving on from uh, motion controls. But I really did not like the motion controls of the Wii. I think it ruined lots and lots of games that could have potentially been some really great games. It did make some games more of a stand out uh, and kind of a big hit. But it also made some games just completely, like, pointless. Like, what's the point of me moving my hands? And I, the main reason why I play video games is because I'm not, I'm not really an athlete. I don't like physical activity. I play video games because that's not physical activity. It's not throwing a ball around, okay? When the Wii came out, it's, like, forcing me to be active. And I, I play video games so I don't have to be active. And I, I guess the idea, theoretically was for you to be active so you are playing video games and having fun and you're also like losing weight and exercising um but as a gamer and a gamer at heart um the Wii didn't uh win me over in that sense and then and gaming wise i think the ps3 beat it in gaming wise now i think it's quite the opposite i think the wii u demolishes the ps4 games and fun wise and the ps4 wins it more in the community sense in the sense of technology and hardware. Um, now I think the Wii U, its games are so good and so much fun at the point where I don't really notice, I don't really care that the graphics aren't stellar like the PS4 graphics are. Yes, in some games like Zelda and Star Fox and Bayonetta 2, the extra graphics and the great hardware the PS4 has would be great, but I don't think any of those games would be fun on the PS4. I think just Nintendo as a company makes these games so much fun. And I think once the Wii U is kind of critically panned and they just announced the Wii U as a hardware flop, I think they focus on making the games fun and that's exactly what it is. So many fun games on the Wii U. Most of my, I think eight out of my top 10 games of 2015 and 14 were from the Wii U because it just had so many great titles. And I don't think any other Nintendo system besides um, 